Hello YouTubers, this is Candida Goose here. Uh, we are down to this three battles left in the Battle of the Conquerors. Lepanto, Vindolin Saga, and Kyoto. Today we are doing Lepanto. Let's see how well that goes for us. The steady splashing as the oars of 200 ships strike the water drowns out all other sound. The most powerful fleet ever assembled by Don Juan of Austria and his allies in Venice sails under the burning light of dawn towards a final encounter with the Ottoman Turks. The Turkish army has greatly expanded its empire, adding North Africa and Mesopotamia to the Turkish holdings in Anatolia, but has finally been turned back by a staunch defense of Hungary. Undaunted, the Turks turned their attention to the Mediterranean, where they intended to break the Christian naval powers of Venice and Spain. Now, 230 rowed galleys and six heavy galleasses lumber into the Bay of Lepanto to meet the 270 galleys of the Turkish fleet. The ships draw up with scarcely five miles separating the distance between them. A storm of arrows darkens the sky, and the drone of splashing oars is finally drowned out by the thunder of cannon. Alright, our objective at the Battle of Lepanto is to build this wonder, which is the other side of this objective screen, and defend it for 200 years. Uh, we do not want to use all of our villagers to construct the wonder. We're actually not going to use any at the start. Uh, we need to gather lots of resources. We are going to go on the offensive against the Turkish fleet, which may surprise you on hard. Uh, Greek Isles hold additional resources. Yes, they do. Scouts, uh, Don Juan, Spanish and Italian fleet. Yes, we have. All right. There's hundreds of Turkish uh, ships. Eight guys up here to chop wood. We don't have the numbers to go offensive. Cool. So we should just keep their galleons and transports at bay. All right, let's build uh, ten farmers, give or take. All right, and then we need eight gold miners to fund our massive fleets. And then this is our starting navy. Interestingly enough to note, the uh, Spanish have the best cannon galleons, Age of Empires 2. Uh, Stardust actually doesn't let me play as the Spanish anymore when we play together, because he thinks I cheat with them. That's just uh, something to know it. Uh, in a little bit, the Greeks are going to ask us to join them. Which we will gladly give them 800 gold as they will repay us kindly. Or handsomely? I think it would be handsomely. Alright, once we get enough money, we are going to upgrade to the galleons instead of the war galleys. Uh, war galleys not that good. Leaders insist on building the wonder so close to the shoreline? In a little bit, the Turks are going to be d doing a massive fleet aggression. Er, Bringing a bunch of warships against us. But nothing to worry about, we got this. Because we're Don Juan of Austria. Alright, there's plenty of wood here to chop. We're not gonna have any problems with this at all. Is this, is, is this the Turks trying to attack us now? Possibly. I think no. I think that's just a bunch of scouts. Why they're sacrificing so many, I don't know. We'll gladly sink their entire fleet though. Because that's what we do. Uh, the first time I actually played this scenario, actually I launched an offensive against the Greeks. Because I didn't know any better. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the attack I was talking about. No cannon, Galleon. Get back here. Yeah, you want to throw the fire ships with the cannon, Galleon. And you want to protect your cannon, Galleon, at all costs. 
And you do not want the Turks to beat your fleet. But they seem more than preoccupied with my cannon aliens. We need to pump out some more galleons. And unfortunately, we did lose a cannon galleon there, which was unfortunate. Alright, now we are going to sail into the jaws of the Turkish fleet. Which the game recommends not doing, but we're going to. These Turks have way too many ships, that's all I can tell you. It is dangerous to sail too far into the jaws of the Turkish fleet. We're better off okay. patrolling our own Yeah, this ships. is where we want to be. Right around here. Alright, so we're going to want to upgrade to... Or just upgrade Cannon Galleon. We don't have enough wood. Chop more wood, people. Oh, that's because I wanted all those Galleons. We well, got plenty of gold revenue coming in, which is sweet. Alright, make a couple more woodcutters, I guess. Yeah, so we're not even gonna worry about the wonder right now, which is completely fine. Not necessary. At all. So, that's good. This really isn't the way you're supposed to play this scenario, but I don't care. I'm here to win. And then we're definitely going to want the Elite Cannon Galleon upgrade. For whatever reason, it seems like we can't get wood very fast. So we're just going to buy some wood. Yeah, I think you're all bad, Turkish Navy. I'll sink you to the bottom of the sea. Sweet, elite cannon galleons. Just what we need. Alright, we're gonna need a bunch of them. Can these gold miners work any slower? I probably would have helped if I wouldn't have sold all our gold. food, we don't really need all that much anymore. What we need is cannon galleons. They are a must. Alright, we have five with more on the way. Alright, we're gonna take these bad boys and do some damage to these Turks. I do not 
think we would fare well under Turkish rule. If you tribute to us 800 gold, we will ally with you instead. We just want to take out a lot of the Turks' uh, bigger buildings here. Well, ideally, we just want to park our fleet here and take out all the transport ships if we can before we start building the Wonder. Alright, yeah, just make sure that's not tasked to the Wonder, or else we're going to be in trouble. You don't have to destroy all the stuff, but I don't want them to make more ships. Because personally, I find the Turkish Navy to be very annoying. And their bombard towers, with our 13 range. Ridiculous. Thirteen range, that's unheard of. Yeah, I just as you guys can see they have a crap ton of ships. What you don't want to do is let any of these transport ships escape here. That would be very bad. So park these guys here. Just take them out. Alright, yeah, we can start building the wonder now. This is all you really gotta do, guys. Just keep destroying the Turkish Navy. You just wanna pin them in their base, and that's it. You just want to destroy all these transport ships, and I ain't got to worry about being attacked. And we aren't even going to need any more resources, so let's just throw everybody on it. Just wonder. You just going to take forever to build. The Turks have like two villagers, but that's it. Nothing they worry about. But yeah, their entire army is based on these transport ships.
We are just slaughtering them, and it is beautiful. Yeah, this one just getting built. So yeah guys, this is a very unorthodox means of beating this scenario, but it works wonderfully.